Right. Hello, YouTube. This is the DBT Gamer Show, which is episode 10. Today, I'm going to be, re be reviewing Donkey Kong's Jet Racer. But before we be start reading that, in my last episode, you may remember I reviewed Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. And when I did my review, I missed out one bad thing. I forgot to state in my review. So, I'm going to mention it right now. So, here's a little bit an extra bit from my written you review. I forgot to put in. Sorry. Right. There's one more bad thing about the your mirror I want to tell you. This was meant to be my last episode, but I forgot to say it. So, here it is. If Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, when you play the Resident Evil 1 bit of the game, you will fight tight in the last level as usual. After you've um, totally beaten his energy bar, as per usual, Brad will drop the rocket launcher down to, down to you to finish him off. But Capcom, Capcom and all the Resident Evil stuff has really screwed this ending up. I, I mean, if you play Resident Evil 1 before, you will know what the ending is. In the original Resident Evil, when you use the rocket launcher on the tyrant, he flies into a million pieces, and it's a really satisfying victory. It makes you feel like, as if say, fuck you, tyrant, you're dead, you've had, enough, you've had it. But, in Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles, they have really ruined the ending. Basically, after you shut the rocket launcher around a tyrant, he just falls to the floor. Falls to the floor? That is probably one of the worst ending, climax ending diversity. Now, I know he falls to the floor in the laboratory when you finish him off, but when you beat him with the rocket launcher, he's meant to spot into a, into a million pieces. That's how Kai's meant to die. That end has been there since Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation. It was in Resident Evil 1 on the Remake on the PlayStation. It was in Resident Evil DS. And it was in Resident Evil on the GameCube. Why remove it? It's just insane. I mean, Resident Evil 1 is a very good game. But when they put it in Resident Evil America Girls, they totally screwed it up with that goddamn ending. Right, that's that out of the way. So, one minute. Right, I'm back now. Okay, that's my Resident Evil stuff out of the way. So let's get on to the review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Don Chong Jet Racer. Now, this game is very, very good. A lot of people who reviewed it on YouTube also agree with me. Now, I've read a few magazine reviews of this game, and the magazines really don't give this game enough credit. They don't at all. Example, NGA Magazine. This is the um, latest issue. I don't know if it's out in the shop yet, but it's the latest issue, because I subscribe to this magazine. I read it quite a lot. Anyway. If you turn to page 55 of this particular issue, we just find the page here. Here we go. This is their review of Donkey Kong Jet Racer. They review the American version of Donkey Kong Battle Blast, but it's the exact same game. They've given this game a 40 out of 100. Donkey Kong Jet Racer deserves a heck of a lot better score than that. I mean, Here's their overall review of the game. Take Mario Kart, subtract steering, subtract controls, and subtract everything that is good and fun, and then add monkeys. What the heck is their problem? Long Kong Jet Racer is a quite a fun game. The controls are good. Look, this is the, one of the worst reviews I ever read. So. Endgamer, when you wrote this review, 
I'm also sure she didn't play the game properly. So, get out. Alright, on to my review. Well, Don't Go and Jet Racer, as I said, it's a very good game. So, to show you this in the best way possible, I'm going to show you some gameplay. Okay. Here we go. Start from my Wii Channels menu and go straight to the game. And then chuck. Right. No big opening screen, it's just a standard touch screen. Um. If you haven't noticed, my camera skills have got a lot better. So, I'll be able to show you more good stuff on camera. Okay, let's start this review off. There's no story I'm not going to it's a racing game. So, let's go straight to graphics. The graphics in this game are pretty good. I mean, I have seen some really good racing game graphics, but these are really, really good. So, the graphics are okay. The multiplayer, the, multi the multiplayer is alright, it's, it's, it's your standard one to four players racing game, so you can race in one, from one to four players against your friends. Right, the controls for this game are really, really good. I mean, I do not know what, what Endgamer's problem is with these controls. These controls are perfect in my eyes. They, they work perfectly. I'll explain them to you right now. If you, want to, if you want to steer right, if you want to accelerate, you go, you shit, you... I just press the hold on, what remote, see if nothing happens. And if you want to accelerate, that you go right, left, right, left, right, left, with the Wii remote and nunchuck. You go, you go nunchuck first, then you go Wii remote first, then nunchuck. You go, you know, at least for drumming. Um. Okay. The next. If you want it, now onto the steering. The steering system is is very similar. Basically, if you want to go right, you shift the Wii remote. If you go left, you shift the shift the nunchuck. Very simple. Um. If you want to attack the enemy, press the A button. And when you get near an enemy, you can just attack them. Each character has their own attacks. Um, to jump, you just raise the Wii remote and nunchuck upwards. Uh, to do a wild move, or a turbo boost, I like to call it, you, you, pu you push the thumbstick forward, hold it for about five, hold it for a while, and you let it go, and you do a, a turbo boost. Um, items, press the Z trigger. You can also press B trigger, but it doesn't mean that which we pressed. Um, plus just puts you on your pause screen. That's basically it. So that's the controls this game. Okay. Right, YouTube. Um, I've run out of time, so join me in part two, where I will tell you more about this awesome game and continue my review. So until next time, bye-bye.